Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, what's poppin'? Finally getting a YouTube video up. If you're new here, which you are, this is my first video. Please subscribe, I'm going to be posting nail tutorials every week, finally. I love nails, so I'm super excited to get this channel up. I'm excited to be finally reviewing this bomb cart poly gel kit. Like, look how cute this packaging is. I can't even hardly deal with it. So let's open it up and see what she look like. This kit comes with four tubes of glitter poly gel, top coat, base coat, 100, 180 nail file, a dual ended nail brush and spatula, dual forms, which actually comes in two different shapes, curved and flat, which is pretty cute if you ask me, and of course an instruction booklet. Now let's do some swatches. These colors are really cute. They're kind of more like jelly. This is the pink glitter color. This is the purple glitter color. This is the silver glitter color. And this gorgeous blue glitter color. Here are the colors side by side. Now on to prep my nails. You guys, my nails are so hideous, don't judge me, but that's why we're putting nails on them, right? Anyway, I clip my nails and I file them to smooth them out and then I gently take a cuticle pusher and I push back all my cuticles. This might look aggressive, um, but I am being really gentle. Trust me, it's just sped up. Taking my cuticle bit and my e-file, I'm just gonna continue to remove the rest of the dead skin around my nails. I'll also link everything that I use in this video in the description below. Don't worry, girl, I got you. I'm super OCD about getting my cuticles around my nails. I have really oily skin and so I've always had a trouble with my nails lifting and when I do a really thorough job with my cuticles and the primer and stuff of course which we'll get into later, I, um, I've, I haven't had prob problems with my nails lifting. I was always that girl that walked around with super cute nails but cut up cuticles because before I had um, cuticle bits and e-files, I would just go at it with like buffers and files and you just mess them up, you know? Which, speaking of buffers, I'm taking my buffer and removing the natural shine from all my nails. And then I'm taking Young Nail Swipe and going to wipe my nails um, with all of the dust and debris and um, dry them out. Next, taking the Young Nails Protein Bond, I'm doing two coats of this all over my nails. Um, you know you ain't a true nail YouTuber unless you have the Young Nail Protein Bond. No, but for real though, this stuff actually really works. I was debating using nail tips or full coverage press-ons and I decided to go with these so I could show you guys. I just got these off AliExpress. And look how freaking beautiful they are. Like, I can't even get over how long. Oh my gosh. They're supposed to be um, like exactly resembling the Eden Couture XXL long coffin ones, which I also I also ordered those. I wanted to give you guys a quick comparison uh, of these to the McCart press-on nails that I know a lot of us have off Amazon. Um, the McCart ones are gonna be on the right and the ones I got off AliExpress are on the left and you can just see the difference in these long ones. Like how gorgeous are these, you guys? No tea, no shade. I ordered my Aiden Couture ones back in June and I still don't have them yet so I found these AliExpress dupes and I just had to grab them and I literally got them in a week. I see a bunch of girls put the McCart ones halfway up their nails so they can have long nails and these ones I got off AliExpress were literally like four dollars. After I got my nails all size I'm going to take my e-file and cuticle bit and etch the inside of the nail. This just ensures giving it a better grip onto your natural nail. Also, you only need to etch where your natural nail would lay 
inside of the press on you don't need to do it all up the nail next I'm just taking some base coat and I'm painting a thin layer all over my natural nails and then I'm gonna cure that in my mini lamp for 30 seconds Next, you want to take your file and file some scratches onto the top of the base coat. This gives it a better cure for the nail. I'm going to be using um, a couple things out of the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips kit that I got, which by the way, I'll do a review on you guys. This builder gel in her kit is amazing for a press dupes. Uh, the builder is really thick, so you just want to hover it and gently want to apply it at the cuticle you don't need too much of it because then it will seep out onto your nail and then starting at your cuticle you're gonna want to gently press down making sure you get all the air bubbles out before applying it underneath the nail lamp And this lamp may look small, but it is so powerful. Like I almost didn't even need to go on the big lamp for a cure because it's literally that powerful. And this is what she looks like. You guys, I am in love with these nails. They are giving me Cardi B vibes. <laughs> Coronavirus! So long. And they're also gel too. And if a little bit gets on your finger like me, it's okay. Just make sure to clean that up if you can. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be filing that at the end. And sis, that takes too long. So just try to get it if you can. After I get all the nails on, I go in the big lamp to do a cure, and this is what they look like. So cute, huh? I had no idea what to do with this set. I tried so hard to get inspired, but I just literally went for it. Um, ignore my pink nail for a second because I messed up and I forgot to buff that one, but make sure you buff all your nails first before you apply poly gel. After I'm done buffing, I take my cuticle bit and I go in and I just clean off some of that builder gel that squeezed onto my skin really quick. And here are the nails shaped and buffed. I really like how these are coming out so far. I'm now going in with the pink poly gel and I'm just going to apply this to the tip of my nail. This kit doesn't come with a slip solution, so you can actually use the base coat as a slip. And I actually really liked how this worked. It wasn't sticky, and the nice thing about it as well is you won't get that milky look from using too much slip solution because the base coat consistency is completely different than the slip solution. It's much easier to work with and not sticky. So I'm just patting this poly gel into place. I found for me, it's much easier to pat and pull than just like pull the poly gel into place. If you like pat it and slide it, it slides much easier. You can see in the video how I'm like patting it into place almost.
after curing that first layer of gel, I'm going in with a second coat just because the jelly consistency was a little bit too transparent for me. And as you can see, I'm only applying it like three fourths of the nail. I'm leaving the cuticle area open because I decided that I actually want to do like a little ombre French kind of look. So I just continued to do two layers of poly gel on each nail and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below more videos you guys would like to see from me. I also got to give mad credit to all of the nail and beauty YouTubers. This is no joke making these videos. It is so much work from filming to the editing to these voiceovers to making sure you're in frame. I've prepared so much for this channel and I have so much fun stuff. I'm excited to get out to you guys. Now I'm taking this cute pink color from Savvyland. I'll be sure to link this down below. And I'm just applying this all over where my natural nail meets. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to go for a kind of ombre slash French tip kind of look. The Savvyland poly gels are, I think, my favorite poly gel I've ever worked with. They are so soft, like not soft where it's hard it's too hard to work with but soft where they just slide so easily all over your nail um, and i love this color too it looks so pretty on my skin After they're all cured, I'm going to wipe the sticky layer off the top and then I'm going to start filing. So I wanted to leave, leave this in the video so I could show you guys the mistake, but a good little tip to do is put a clear layer of poly gel over your nails before you start filing because I actually accidentally filed a little bit too much and I filed off a little bit of the purple color. So if that happens, all you have to do is just put a little bit of poly gel on there, fix it, and then cure it and refile it. y'all know I gotta bling these nails up. This little rhinestone kit comes in the first McCart pink kit that they did, which I'll also link down below. These rhinestones are super cute. They come with like the clear silver ones and then like the rainbowish looking ones.
I usually use a rhinestone glue to apply my rhinestones, but I'm currently out of mine, so you can just use top coat. It works as good. And here is the finished look. What do you guys think? At first, I was a little bit skeptical, but I actually loved how it turned out. And then of course, I'm just applying cuticle oil all over my cuticles to finish off this set. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.